In this video, we'll be doing a calculation using complex numbers in rectangular and polar format, and we'll be using example 3.14 from our textbook. Now, just to give you a little bit of background for uh, complex calculations, if z is equal to a plus jb, z would represent the complex number, a plus b would represent the real number, and j would be the imaginary part of the complex number. So in this example, 5 and 3 are our real numbers, and i is the imaginary part. Now when converting rectangular to polar format, just to show you what our calculator does for us, um, if you're using a scientific calculator, um, essentially for r, it would calculate the square root of x squared plus y squared, and the angle for the polar format would be tan to the minus 1, and y divided by x inside the bracket. So as you can see, our calculator saves us a lot of uh, time. Now complex numbers are added and subtracted in rectangular form. So here we would say 3 plus 6 will give us 9. Positive 4 minus 9 will give us a negative 5. Complex numbers are multiplied and divided in polar format. So if we want to multiply z1 by z2, we would first have to convert rectangular form to polar form, and then we could multiply out. So 8,544 times 6,403 would give us 54,707, and then we could add those angles together to give us an angle of 198,104 degrees. So this is the circuit we'll be working with. You'll notice that in branch A, we have a capacitor of 70 microfarad, and there is no resistor. In branch B, we have a coil with a resistance of 25 ohms and an inductor of 160 millihenry. Then branch C is uh, a coil with a resistance of 10 ohms and an inductor of 60 millihenry. So to calculate uh, the polar and rectangular format for branch A, we will have to calculate the capacitive reactants, um, and the formula for that is 1 over 2 pi Fc, and to convert microfarad to farad, you multiply by 10 to the power of minus 6. So we end up with a capacitive reactance of 42,441 ohms. Now, just to show you our calculator to convert a rectangular form to polar form, you first push shift polar, and there's no resistance, so the first value is zero. Then shift comma, and then we can type in the capacitive reactance, which is always going to be negative. So that's going to be comma minus 42,441, and that will give us our polar format. For branch B, we have a coil with an inductor, and to calculate inductive reactance, which is always positive, it is uh, two times pi times the frequency, times the inductor, and we end up with an inductive reactance of 50,265 ohms. Once again, to convert a rectangular to polar form, it's going to be shift polar, shift comma, and then we can type in the second value of 50,265, and that would give us our polar format. For the third branch, there's a coil with a resistor, and an inductor, so to calculate the inductive reactance, which will be positive, uh, we need to convert 60 millihenry to henry, and we end up with an inductive reactance of 18,85 ohms. So our rectangular format, the resistor of 10 ohms plus positive 18,85, and we must just make sure we have the polar format as well for when we multiply later. Okay, so to calculate the impedance total, it's the impedance of the parallel branch plus the impedance of the ZC branch. To calculate impedance in parallel, it'll be ZA multiplied by ZB over ZA plus ZB. We multiply in polar format and we add in rectangular format. So there's our answer in polar and rectangular. Okay, I'm just trying to save a lot of time and steps by jumping straight to the answers in this video. Right, the next step is to then work out the impedance total by taking the impedance of the parallel branch and adding it to the impedance of branch C, and you'll have to add in rectangular format. 
and we end up with an answer like that in rectangular format. And in polar format, we end up with 87,556 ohms and an angle of minus 30,265. Always round off to three decimal places so that we end up with accurate answers. Now, to calculate the uh, total current, we divide in uh, polar format. And for voltage, our reference point is zero degrees. So we divide in polar format. And it'll be zero minus negative 30, comma 265. So we end up with 2,741 amps and an angle of 30, comma 265. Just a note, uh, the total current is also equal to uh, IC, which is the current through branch C. Now to calculate uh, the volt drop across the parallel branch, it'll be the total current multiplied by the impedance of the parallel branch and we multiply in polar format and we add our angles together. So the voltage for the parallel branch is 249,386 volts. Then we can go ahead and calculate the current in branch A and we can calculate the current in branch B. All right, thanks guys for watching this video.